And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Po' Boy Special here. We're celebrating, well not really celebrating, that's the wrong word, commemorating and honoring the assassination of John F. Kennedy, our president. And the way we're doing that is, we're filming this video right here to show or answer a age-long question. That question is, did the fatal headshot come from the front or did it come from behind? We're going to show you some testing we did, some ballistics testing, and let the evidence speak for itself. We're going to show you the results and see where that fatal headshot came from. You saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel. We started with cooked macaroni elbows, then added it into our ballistics gelatin and poured it into our clay pots. What we're wanting to show here is once the bullet strikes, which direction the debris goes. Does it go back toward the shooter or does it go back in the same direction as the bullet? In this shot, we did have one piece of the top lip of the clay pot come back toward the shooter, but that was basically all. Everything else went back away from the shooter.
Here we have a couple of pieces that went back just resembling the shot from JFK that ended up on the back of the trunk of the car. Very similar acting, very similar place. Here we have a couple of pieces on the ground and a couple pieces of uh, gel and representing brain matter, the elbow macaroni. Behind our targets, we had a box full of thick papers green paper, newspaper, there's the hole that the bullet made, and there's the bullet we found. Look at the deformation of that bullet as it hit something solid in the logs that we had behind that. Here are the logs we had behind those boxes, and notice the holes that those bullets made. We found an Italian Carcano rifle. It does not have the optics or scope like Lee Harvey Oswald supposedly used. We're using plain iron sights. Here is the ammo with the stripper clip and here it is loading. It holds six rounds. This was our first time ever firing this rifle. It was very hard to do with iron sights, shooting a very small target like that. Our first shot hit the very top lip. The second shot almost went in the same place. Can I hit the bottom? Yeah, for sure. Hold on. It hit it? It hit it. Right here, entrance right here, exit out the back. We showed that it did hit the target, but very minimum damage. Wasn't really a All good right, hit, so, so right you'll a, see some more see, like shots and some right more here, efforts to try that. and get a better result. Right here. Know, that one's kind of inconclusive in my opinion because it, it was such a glancing blow. And of course, JFK's head had two two hard pieces to it, and this only hit the one hard piece right here, not the not the end of the back of the skull. So. Okay, second camera's going. This time we wanted to simulate the motion of the vehicle. So we took the pot and made it swing towards the shooter as if it was coming towards the shooter in a moving vehicle. Holy mackerel! The results were completely devastating, and notice most of it went 
back away from the shooter, not towards the shooter. But this round in this shot proved very, very devastating. Very nasty round with results like this. It was just horrible, horrible. That's a really good one. Here we wanted to get a little bit of an angle like the Zapruder film from okay. the side and a little bit from the back. So <laughs> just so you can see what happens from an angle from the side and from the back. That's Thanks. rolling. Ready? Ready? Yes. yes. Oh! <laughs> oh man, that is a nasty rifle round. Oh my goodness! Now notice there's nothing here. No pieces of the pot. No pieces of everything. Just behind the shooter. Just behind the shooter. Just behind the shooter. Wow. And I'll even show, all right, we'll go like this, nothing on the ground. So nothing made it to the ground in front of us. We had one small fragment of the brain here. That was probably, what, six inches from the, that's probably about six inches from here to there. Yep. There's the devastation. Look at all the stuff on the inside here. And on the inside here. and all the way back. And just so you can see, there it is. This round in this shot proved to be very devastating. Look at the amount of damage. There's the hole in which the entrance was. And if you see around the back, it had all those pieces come out the back. There's the back. Very devastating round. As it goes in, it just completely almost explodes the back end, and you can see all the pieces in the back there, and it went back, not towards the shooter, but it went back in the same direction path as the bullet. We went digging through the papers here. There's the ream of papers. There's the newspapers. And about halfway through, we found a bullet lodged in there. Right here's where the hole, and see, look, look how it just shredded all that paper right there. And there's the bullet that we found. We found a bullet earlier, and there's another bullet, almost just like it. So, so far, we found a total of two rounds through that paper backstop box and papers and as a pretty devastating round, it penetrated very well. Here we wanted to see if a pistol round would get the same kind of results. And you be the judge. <laughs>